myself Ankur Patimbara and I welcome to Ankur's coaching class. I will take up the mathematics, science and English grammar of class 8-19. I will also take up the basic electrical engineering courses. Let us begin our daily classes with trigonometry. Students, uh, this is a trigonometry course that part. It is required for class 10 as well as 11. Okay. Now what is trigonometry? Let us define trigonometry. Trigonometry has come from the Greek word, three Greek words, tri, tri, the meaning of tri is three, okay? Then one is gone, g-o-n, gone. Gone means sides, okay? Three sides and one is metri, we will trail metron, m-e-t-r-o-n, okay? So, metron means measurement. So, so the trigonometry deals with the measurement of three sides, and the three sides of which of what? That is the triangle. Okay, that is known as trigonometry. We'll deal with the only with the triangles in trigonometry. Have you understood this all? Okay. Simply a fixed line. Okay. This is a fixed line. Okay. And after that we will take a revolving line. Suppose this is the revolving line. Okay. If the revolving line moves in the counterclockwise direction, then the angle formed with the base line, with the fixed line will be always positive. Will be always positive. Let the angle be theta, then it will be always positive. If it is counterclockwise or anticlockwise counterclockwise or anticlockwise then it will be positive if the revolving line moves towards the clockwise direction that is this way this is clockwise okay clockwise then the theta will always be negative have you understood this now we'll study about the trigonometric ratios okay Trigonometric ratios, we will study the trigonometric ratios, we will have to draw a right angle triangle. A, B and C and this is 90 degree. And suppose this angle is theta, okay. So now here it is the perpendicular, it is the base and this is the hypotenuse. Now what are the trigonometric ratios? Trigonometric ratios, there are six trigonometric ratios. One is sine theta, sine theta, one is cos theta, one is tan theta, cot theta, sec theta, and cosec theta. I'll give you a simple technique to remember all those formulas. So one formula we will have to remember. One line, one sentence we will have to remember so that we can easily calculate the trigonometric ratio. See, some people have curly brown hair turns purely black. You all will laugh at this one. But it will help you to understand these all these things. Let us take the first letter of the each and every word. Okay. Just see the first word. Don't go in details of the total word, just take the first one. Some people have curly brown hair, turns purely black. This is the line you have to remember always, students, because uh, through this line, you will know, you will, you will come to know about what is trigonometry. So S, S represents sine theta, okay, sine, our angle is theta, so sine theta equal to P. P for what? Perpendicular. Here P is AB. AB by H. Hypotenuse what? This is the hypotenuse. AC. So, we'll write sine theta will be equal to P by H. Is it easy? Yeah, easy. So, this is sine theta. So, what is this? S for sine theta, P for perpendicular, H for hypotenuse. Now, comes our cos theta. Okay. C, cos theta. Theta is this one? C for cos. Okay. Base. Base by 
hypotenuse. So base by hypotenuse means BC by AC. Then comes our tans means ten theta. Okay. Ten theta. Ten theta will be equal to perpendicular by base. Ten theta will be equal to perpendicular by base equal to AB by AC. Okay. Got it. Now we will come for cot theta. What is cot theta? All this. See, by using this line, we will get three trigonometric ratios. Sin theta, cos theta and tan theta. So, what is cot theta? It is cot theta is nothing but opposite of tan theta. It is the reciprocal of tan theta. So, 1 by P by B. So, it will be equal to B by P. Means base by perpendicular. So, we can write BC by AB. Is it clear to you all? Okay. That will be the reciprocal of tan theta and it will be equal to B by P. Then what about sec theta? Sec theta will be equal to 1 by cos theta. It is the reciprocal of cosine of that angle. Okay. What is cos? Cosine. We can represent it also as cosine. This is the angle theta, okay? So what is cos theta? Cos theta we got it b by h. So 1 by b by h. So it will be h by b. Is it clear to you all? So now we will come to cosec theta. What is cosec? It will, it will be the reciprocal of it will be the reciprocal of sine theta. Cosec theta will be equal to 1 by sin theta. Okay. And what is sin theta? What is sin theta? P by H means perpendicular by hypotenuse. Okay. Now it will come to as H by P. This is the question. Given tan theta equal to 4 by 3, find the other trigonometric ratios of the angle A. So we will assume the right angle triangle ABC. And here A will be the angle. Okay. And AC will be the hypotenuse, AB will be the base, and BC will be the perpendicular. So, here, as we have studied here, the tan theta, so here no theta, here it will be A. Earlier it was theta, so we write tan theta. Now here the angle will be A. So tan A will be equal to, we know, given 4 by 3. Okay. And we know that perpendicular by base P by B. So here P is BC. Okay. BC. And what is B? That is AB. Side AB of the right angle triangle. Now we will have to find the other trigonometric ratios. Okay. So we will have to find out cot theta, sin theta, cos theta, cosec theta, sec theta. So let us proceed. We will take this as K, suppose. Okay. So, BC will be 4K. Okay. okay. Then AB will be 3K. That is, our base will be 3K. And perpendicular will be 4K. Where well, K is a constant. K is a constant and it is a positive number constant and it is a positive number and it is a positive number okay now we will find out the hypotenuse AC in a right angle triangle we have studied in class 8 9 so by Pythagoras theorem applying the Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem by Pythagoras theorem We know that hypotenuse square will be equal to base square plus perpendicular square. Okay, here AC is the hypotenuse. AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Okay, now we'll evaluate the hypotenuse. Already we have B equal to 3K and P equal to 4K. 
Now here we will evaluate the hypotenuse that is AC. So AC will be equal to root over of AB square plus BC square. Okay. Okay guys. Then what is AB? What is AB? AB is 3K. Okay. 3K. 3K whole square. Then what is BC? It will be 4K. Now it will be root over of 9k square plus 16k square and we can write it as we'll delete the question okay and we'll write it as AC will be equal to root over of 25k square so it will be 5k we'll take the positive one it will be plus minus 5 but we'll take the positive one okay that is AC. And what is AC? AC is our hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will be equal to 5k. Okay. Okay. As we have seen, H equal to 5k. Now, what we can do? We can use this formula. We will have to find the other trigonometric ratios. Okay. Now, we will use this formula. Some people have curly brown here. Turns purely black. So, B find out, uh, B it was given, P given, and A we have find out. Okay, now sin theta means sin A. Here angle will be A. So it will be perpendicular by hypotenuse. Okay, perpendicular by hypotenuse. Here perpendicular is 4k and hypotenuse is 5k. So sin A will be. 4 by 5. Okay, got it. Now we'll come to cos. Cos A will be equal to some people have curly brown hair. So it will be base by hypotenuse. So what is the base? It will be 3k. And what will be the hypotenuse? It will be 5k. So cos A will be 3 by 5. So it was given and we have find out what. Now we will have to find out another 3. So what is uh, opposite of 10 will be cot. So what is cot A? We will get it from this one. Cot A will be equal to 3 by 1 by 10. Okay. 1 by 10 A. We will get it as 1 by 4 by 3. So it will be 3 by 4. I will teach you one more method. How to find out the cot A. It is the simple method. I will tell you one more method. Okay. So we know cot A will be equal to cos A by sin A. Done? Okay. So what is cos A? It will be 3 by 5. And what is sin A? It will be 4 by 5. So ultimately what we will get? We will get 3 by 5 into 5 by 4. So we will get it as 3 by 4. This is the another way of getting that cot. Is it clear to you all? Now we will find out the coseke. Okay. Coseke. What is coseke? See, coseke will be equal to reciprocal of sin A. Okay. So it will be equal to 1 by 4 by 5. So it will be equal to 5 by 4. Okay. Sign A. We have got 4 by 5. And we have got cos A as 5 by 4. And similarly, for cos A, we can find out sec A. So sec A will be equal to reciprocal of this one. Directly you can say 5 by 3. Have you understood you all? Guys, so in this way we can find out everything. The trigonometric ratio we can find out using the help of this line. So always remember in life, uh, while going through trigonometry, you have to just simply know this line, okay? Some people have curly brown hair, turns purely black. With the, with the help of this line, you can sort out any solution, okay? Uh, regarding trigonometric ratios. Is it clear to you all guys? Okay. And uh, see, uh, I just taught the basics of this one and I will come up with more classes with more depth and I will solve more solutions, okay?
So please do subscribe my channel that is on Goods Coaching Class. Then I will come up with various topics. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you viewers. Please subscribe.